Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can populate a family on the base points on uh, some objects using Dynamo. So, uh, first I want to start from scratch. So, let's open a new file. Uh, I want to go with metric architectural template. Feel free to go with default metric. Both would work. Uh, next, I would like to change the units type UN and I want to go with meters, three decimal places. And then I want to open Dynamo. Uh, now let's create a wall here. So I want to create a wall somewhere around here. And I want to go with some windows. I want to go with a bigger one here. And I want to array this so i want to use array uh, which is here i don't want to group them because i want to be able to change their seal heights easily if i group them it's gonna i have to ungroup them and then change the seal height so uh, going from first to last now it's going to create uh, eight of them okay so maybe this is what i have here let's assume that the wall is going up to level two and um, how about I select this and go with maximize 3D extent? Okay. Uh, okay, that's good. And uh, feel free to change the seal heights. Maybe they go with like 0 0.7, 0 0.75. Maybe there is a kind of some differences. 0 0.8. Uh, I want to go with 0 0.8, uh, 0 0.9 or something. Uh, I want to go with one meter here. I want to go with 1.1. 1. Uh, 1. So let's say they have different seal heights. Okay, that's why I didn't group them. So um, now I want to go to manage, open Dynamo. I actually opened it already. And I want to go with a new file. Uh, let's open a new file in Dynamo. Uh, so I want to relate the family to the Revit elements, the windows. So that means I need to go to the Revit menu, uh, selection, and I want to select all those uh, window families. So I want to go with all elements of family type. I also going to need family type. So uh, this goes to this. For now, it's null because we didn't assume any family yet. So I want to go with the window. And I know that that is 14 by 18. I mean, 400 by 800. So I have eight windows, right? Uh, so far, so good. Now, these are elements. And I want to know what's the base of those objects. So because this is element, I need to go to my element menu in Revit element again so elements element and i want to get the point or start point let's see what we have here or get location you see the output is a geometry so if i connect this to this actually the output is a set of points so that's what i was looking for uh, and if i hide the wall here you see that it's uh, assuming one point at the center of the window each window right so so far so good I have eight points what I want to do next is that I want to create a family and assign it to those points right so if I show you what is the node I'm gonna use later on the Revit menu it's gonna be under elements because again it's a defined element in Revit I want to go with family instance and uh, by point so very easy if i get a family type like that one and assign it over there assign point to point uh, it's going to populate the family that we are looking all over those points okay so uh, how about i group the first three nodes for now and i want to uh, create a group and i want to uh, I want to name it as base points uh, 
And next, I want to design my family, right? So uh, let's leave this here. I want to open a new file, new. Uh, it's going to be a family and English. I want to go with metric generic uh, model. Feel free to go with anything else. And I want to go with meters again. So that's what I prefer. See the decimal places. Okay and okay. Uh, first, you see that the point is uh, at the center here. Right, uh, and actually, that's at the center of the wall as well. So, if what my wall, for instance, is uh, twenty um, uh, centimeters uh, or two hundred millimeters, if I create a shading over there, it's going to be at the middle of the wall. So that's why I want to design um, a new reference plane, and I want to adjust it there so I can move it back. So the window shading is not inside the wall. So I want to go with uh, create a new reference plane or RP beside them. RP, uh, let's say maybe I want to uh, offset this one by 0.2 or something. So I want to just select this one and offset it. Now let's go with DI dimension and I want to make this a parameter. So I want to go with create parameter and um, I'm going to name this as um, offset. Offset is good because that's where um, actually how you want to offset it from the center of the wall. I'll leave it on type. I have explained the difference between type and instance in other videos, but I'll explain again later today. So let's leave it. Okay. So this is where my window is going to be drawn. Also, I need another reference plane on the two sides here. Let's say maybe I want to go with um, 0.7 and 0.7. Select this 0.7 and 0.7. Okay, make sure to get dimensions and this part is important to set this to equal. So it's always going to be the same dimension from the center. Uh, we're going to need a second dimension here. And I want to make this a parameter too. I want to name it as the width underline shading. The reason I go with underline is that uh, if you go with a hyphen, a dash, it means negative. So it's gonna, it's not gonna work well in your formula. So width shading, okay. Uh, also, on my front view, uh, I want to assign the height. So I want to go with uh, RP again offset it maybe by 1.7 or something. This is going to be the height from uh, the reference plane or reference level, di. And again, this is going to be a parameter. I want to name it as the height underline, underline shading. I'll leave it as type for now. Okay. So far, so good. Then I want to go to reference level. I want to select this reference plane. I want to set it. So under create, set, pick a plane. Okay. Click here. And then I want to go to front view. So that means my objects, which is going to be an extrusion, are going to start from there. Extrusion. Uh, draw a rectangle. And I want to offset that rectangle by 0.1. Uh, feel free to type TL to switch from thin lines to thick lines. I want to trim it or TR. So this is going to be uh, my object. Uh, let's check it in reference level. Uh, the amount of extrusion is here. Maybe I can go with 60 centimeters or so. That seems reasonable. So this is what we have so far. I can change this to shader so you can see better. And on one of my views, maybe left side, I want to design a geometry and cut it out of this one, right? So how about I go with create extrusion. Uh, I just want to draw it from here to here, over there, over there, uh, check it. And in your 3D view, make sure that it goes all the way outside on both sides. 
so I designed this as a solid, but if I click on it, go all the way down, I can change it to void, or it could have been void from the beginning, and it's not cutting, so I'm gonna uh, go with cut, select one object, the other one, and it will cut it. So this is the family I'm looking for, okay? Uh, you can save it, or you can go with the name that's there, it doesn't matter for now. Uh, I wanna load it into project, just put it somewhere. Uh, it's actually over there, okay. Next, I wanna go to my Dynamo file, right? I wanna select that family that I created. So I'm gonna need another family type to assign it over there. So uh, feel free to copy and paste that one actually, Control C, Control V, and I wanna go with uh, family two. Uh, that was the name of my family. Whatever family name you assigned is going to show here. As soon as I connect it to family type, it's going to create one object over there, right? If I go to my level one, now you see that there is a distance uh, from those objects and the window. That's because I uh, designed an offset. If I had not designed an offset, it would have been inside the wall. If I put this on wireframe, you would have seen. So uh, because I know the depth of the wall is 200 millimeters, if I go with 0.1, which is half of it, it's going to be exactly on the center here. So if I change the wall type, uh, still I can change the offset so it's, there would be no conflicts. That's one thing. And uh, again, under edit type, you see other items are also under type here because I defined them as type in the family, if you remember. If I had defined them as instance, they would have shown in the menu right here. So um, now I can just increase the width. So it's going to be on the two sides or maybe I should look at this from the south elevation. Let's say OK, south elevation. over there uh, you can delete this one this is the one that we just randomly put it there okay uh, let's go to edit type I'm gonna try 1.7 maybe even 1.75 would be better for the width okay and uh, I want to also increase the height let's say 2.1 but you see that um, it's a little bit up there I want to move it down and actually, if I type move here, um, there is no option, I believe, to move the family instance. You move that uh, geometry dot move would, will not work for the family instance, uh, and we don't have a family instance, I believe. Uh, so actually, it's easier if I just move those points. So if I go to geometry, move those points a little bit lower. So, um, and then assign it. So geometry goes to geometry. Probably if I go with like negative 15 centimeters, which is negative 0.15, assign it to Z, and then assign the outcome uh, here, the outcome point, assign it to the point. Uh, they're all gonna move down. I'm gonna go with maybe negative 0.2. This better, that is better. Uh, and I can adjust the height from edit type over there. Maybe it's going to be 2.2. Okay. That all looks good. I can also try 2.1. Apply. Uh, no, 2.2 is better. 2.2. That's it. Okay. And uh, it's all working well. Let's go to 3D view here. Uh, and now you see this interesting that if I change the seal height or something for some of them, let's say this is going to be negative or 0.7, uh, I'm going to move it down. It actually reads the location in Dynamo and adjusts uh, the location in Revit based on that. So um, no matter how many windows you have, no matter how many seal heights you have, uh, the family, the shading is going to be exactly where you want.